what a wonderful march. Lots of noise. Lots of colour, lots of placards and banners. A very, very good march today. Absolutely brilliant. But it's not enough, is it? We've got to do lots more than this. But what we can do is we can use this as an inspiration to do more. And what is it we've got to do? What is it we've got to do to put an end to the horror of experiments on animals? Well, of course, we want to ban on it, don't we? We want it banned. We want it outlawed so that nobody is allowed to do these horrific activities. And we need, we need a government in power, don't we, that will outlaw it. And we need to have people elected to parliament that are opposed to animal experiments. We need to work to get that. Yep, somebody said cold of Tories. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be a start, wouldn't it? And probably a few of the others as well. Um, okay, that's more of a long-term aim, isn't it? So what, what can we do in the short term? What, what can we do in the short term? One thing we can do is try and try and starve, try and starve these animal experimenters of money, isn't it? And we've had an example today, haven't we? People demonstrating outside the British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research UK. And there's uh, groups like uh, British Heartless Foundation and Animal Aids uh, Victims of Charity Campaign trying to educate and persuade people not to support, not to give money to organisations that finance animal experimentation. So we can get involved in their campaigns, can't we? So try and deprive millions, if not billions of pounds away from the vivisection industry. We need to do that. And the other thing we can do is to support campaigns, support organisations that promote humane research that will take the place of experiments on animals. People like the Dr Hadwin Trust, Safer Medicines, and I think both of those have been represented here today as well. Support those organisations, that's another way that we and the ordinary people everywhere can help at least reduce the cruelty of experiments on animals. Now, a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago probably, I was involved, as you probably know, with the Animal Liberation Front. We had an intensive and an extensive campaign against the uh, vivisection industry. And as a result of that, as a result of direct action, we managed to reduce the number of experiments on animals in this country by, by three and a half million every year. And the reason for that, I'm really sure the reason for that, was because the animal experimenters were afraid. Because they were, they were afraid to do experiments on animals. So they looked for other ways of doing their testing. And I think that's one of the main reasons why that number of experiments went down. But the other thing we have to think about as, as, as well is, is where does this come from? Where, did, where does this idea that humans can experiment on animals come from? This idea that we can do anything we want with animals. Well, not, not us, I'm sure people here, but the human species in general. Where does that come from? Well, that, that comes from speciesism, doesn't it? It comes from this idea of human supremacy, that somehow human beings are more important than other animals. And, how does that come about? As far as I'm concerned, the only, the only way that humans are, more, are, are, are superior to other animals is, it, is in our arrogance, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that the only way? Yes. These are the creatures that, that, that feel and, and, and have emotions, same as we do, and yet somehow it's presumed that humans are more important than them. What nonsense that is. That not, not only is that evil, it's also highly irrational, and we need to challenge that. And the best way we can challenge that is by educating people to go vegan. Because that challenges that at a very fundamental level. Where we're educating people to go vegan, not just in terms of the diet, but in terms of the whole attitude of being opposed to animal abuse and animal exploitation. And we need to do that as well, because ultimately that challenges all animal, animal abuse. And it challenges animal experimentation at the same time. So what we need to do is be inspired by today. This was a great day, but it wasn't enough. We need to do a lot more to fight the evil of animal experimentation and to fight the, the evil of animal abuse. Because when you consider that four million animals uh, a year are tortured and killed in UK laboratories, but eight billion animals are killed, suffer and die for human consumption, 
in this country. And we need to consider that as well. And we need to also fight against that and all forms of animal abuse. So please take today as an inspiration to do more. And go back to your hometowns, go back to where you live and do stuff there. You know, get involved in, in groups. If you don't want to get involved in groups, do, do things as an individual. Sorry. Campaign, protest, educate. So that we can put an end to animal experimentation. So that we can put an end to all abuse and exploitation of animals. And so that we can bring about animal liberation. And we can do it if we become ever more active we can do it. We can win and we can win for the animals. Thank you very much.